All right, so that is image widgets crop. Now, manually cropping images is great, but when you have more than one crop, so in, in our case, we, we only have a single crop, which is fine, but I've worked on sites where you have five crops and having to manually crop an image every single time you upload something can be tedious. So the next module I wanna show you is focal point. So the first thing we'll do is enable it. So let's go to extend and search for focal point. Now let's go to configuration and let's add it to the image styles. So click on image styles and we'll add it to large and medium. So let's edit the large one first. So let's put in focal point scale and crop. And I'll put in 480 by 480. And I'll delete these other ones because they are not needed anymore because the focal point does a scale and crop. And let's go back. Well, let's just click on update style. You can, you can never update enough stuff in Drupal. And then let's go to medium and let's add in focal point scale and crop as well. And what was that? 220 by uh, 220. And I'll remove this scale and crop, no longer needed. And then click on update style. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is switch the image widgets. So let's go back to structure, content types, and manage form display. And instead of using the image widget crop, we'll use just the image widget because focal point doesn't come with its own fancy widget. It actually reuses the original image widget. So let's just select image and click on save. Okay, let's go back to our test article and you should see a preview of the image that you upload and a crosshair. I hope you guys can see that. I'll, I'll zoom in in the video when I, when I edit it. And so this crosshair is considered the focal point. And what Drupal will do is it'll resize and, well, it'll scale and crop around the focal point. So if you have multiple image styles and you have a single focal point, all you need to do is upload an image, select the focal point and Drupal does the rest. You're not stuck manually cropping things as you would if you were to use image widget crop. And another thing you can do is preview what the crops will look like. So just click on, okay, so let's just move the crosshair right up the top and then click on preview. You can see what it will look like in both image styles. If we were to move it all the way down, you can see what it looks like like that. Pretty cool. Okay, let's just keep it right down at the bottom and click on save and keep published. And if we go to the test article, you will see that Drupal has resized or cropped the image around the focal points.